Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another episode. On today's video, we're going to check out another Joy Toy figure. The Steel Bone Mac H04. If you're here for the first time, I make videos about toys and stuff. Mostly on mecha, sci-fi, cyberpunk, action figures, plastic model kits. So go ahead and hit some buttons. Now if you're a fan of Titan 4, I think you might like today's episode. Medikit, belt, weapons, helmet, and some joints for your 3 inch or 7.5 centimeter pilot. Now, if you haven't gotten yourself a Joy Toy Mecha before, most of them come with a pilot. They are highly articulated. Now, check out the joints. You can actually pose them. In however you want to incredible details color and weathering I have to say they are all on point I'm quite happy so far I would say it's not bad for this figure as usual now I kind of wish that the vest can be removed I don't think so as for the holster as well as the Pad, what do you call this? The thigh pad. I don't think you can remove them because it looks too tight. I'm not sure. Let me see. Ugh. Okay, you can actually take out the legs. And. Oh, you can. Yeah, you can actually take it out. Alright. Not bad. Okay, so here we have the helmet. It should fit right onto his head. Might need to adjust a little bit. Yes, the medic kit. I guess this guy is supposed to be a medic. Medic kit. A medic pack. Yeah, I think it looks good. I really, really enjoy it. And here's the handgun really small but again it should fit right into the holster all right before we check out the main event which is the mecha itself i'm gonna fix him up with his weapon looks pretty good yeah what do you guys think whoop just so you know the instruction manual actually focuses more on the weapons but not really on the assembly of the mecha itself I had a little bit of trouble in putting putting in putting some of the stuff together I guess you just gotta refer to the picture or on the box itself but hey it works weapon number one which is the rifle or the gun more twist and turn which seems to be the norm when it comes to putting um, things together some parts are kind of hard to to put on it can be a little bit annoying but overall it looks good um, so this is the gun back and forth so this mecha comes with two weapons the first one is the gun the second one some say it's a cannon but I think it's a hammer what do you guys think okay I think you just gotta slide this in a lot of um, snapping together and just trying to figure out because the instruction manual is not the best to be honest or maybe I'm just bad I'm not sure hmm. now for the next part it's gonna be pretty interesting because you're gonna see me making mistakes I'm just gonna call myself out right now but hey it's not about how you start it's about how you finish Okay, this is it. Do not try this at home. Obviously, 
first move, wrong move. I was trying to fit this part and somehow it works, but this is not where it belongs. I'm going to show you later where it's supposed to be. And this is for the cockpit. Again, guys, the instruction manual doesn't really help you that much. So just watch my video. Whatever you put on the left side, you have to do it to the right side as well. There's a lot of twists and turns, as usual, but overall it looks good. Okay, moving on to this part. Very easy. Just fit right in. And this is another part where I struggle. A lot of twists and turns on both of the hands. The left and the right. I feel like some parts require more force. Or maybe I'm just weak. No, just kidding. Okay, I like it. So you know how sometimes you're left with some extra parts after assembling a full mecha? For example, I have two, two things right here. I'm not sure where they are supposed to go. Here we go. I took out the top part and I realized that it actually goes to the top of the cockpit not the side. More twist than the best movie you have watched. Okay, it goes like this. And again, I repeat, people, I repeat, it goes over the top. Squeeze, squeeze, twist and turn. Looks pretty good. Mm-hmm. Okay, so this is the fun part. You have a lot of holes. There's one here, there's one here, there's one here. I figured out this is a jet. Is this a jet pack? I have no idea. I'll just fit it up here. Hmm. Okie dokie. Really like it. Awesome. This guy right here looks pretty cool. I'm gonna share with you guys a secret. It's not really a secret now that it's out, but whoever's watching, I don't know, maybe like five of you guys. Okay, so we're gonna find out where to keep the package. Now, if you can just open up this part, it's actually located at the back of the cockpit. You can store the package, the medic kit, behind. Just like that, snap it on and you can close it. It should work quite well. Ha ha ha. And another one, you can take the other gun and put it in the cockpit itself. I think this is a submachine gun. I don't know guys, I need to learn more about guns. Close it, looks good. I like it. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Okay, let's fix up the cannon slash hammer. Squeeze and turn and twist. Looks good. The next part. Twist and turn again. And you can just put it to the back. Yep. Mm -hmm. Okay, for this part of the video, we are going to check out the cockpit of this awesome mecha and it should fit one of my hexagear governors. Let me see. Let's use the warmage hazard. Okay, over here. I'm not sure why this guy is walking like Michael Jackson's video thriller. Oh, ho, ho. Okay, so you're just gonna open up this part and 
the control. I don't know what you call this. I am so bad with this thing. Um, obviously, for the War Mage Hatzer, you're just gonna take out the holster and make sure that it can fit right in. In terms of scale, the Hexa Gear is a 124th scale model and the Joy Toy is. Okay, I just lost his head, but it's okay. Look at his headless palette. And I can just fit right in and close. Okay. I'm not sure how much you can see, but that's all you get. Here's my favorite part the movement of the mecha. If you can look at the arms, you can twist and turn. This mecha is actually 22 cm, which I think is 9 inches tall. And a lot of people agree with me that the hands are awesome. They are as big as Lana's hand. Now shout out to those. You get what I mean. Ha ha ha. You can actually open and close. Just guys, just look at the joints. They are so cool. What do you guys think? I think overall it looks pretty good and this is the torso. Torso. This is the body part. The upper and lower body. What's wrong with my English? Okay, and then the legs. Overall. Again guys. These. Get yourself one of these. Because they are awesome. I part I think you can yeah you can take it out all right I, I guess we're just gonna take apart everything just to show you some of the parts that you can remove yep I think you can actually customize with another mecha I am not sure and yeah this part too the flap yeah, you can just take it out like that. Okay, drop the hammer. Alright, overall, it's good. I think that's it. Nothing else to be taken apart. Love it. And I have no idea what this is part for. So if you know the answer to this question, please let me know in the comment section below. I hope you enjoy my video. So this is the comparison of both of the mecha. If you haven't watched the God of War 86 video, please go ahead and click the link somewhere up there. And yeah, one of the one of the reasons that I decided to get um, the steel bone mag is because of its color. I really really like the dual tone, um, the brown or tan and green. Kind of reminds me of Mysterio. Kind of. But anyways. I really like the dual tone color. I like um, the glass, glass looking cockpit um, weapons. Yeah, you get two weapons. That's always a good thing. I want more, more weapon, people. Give me more. If you enjoyed today's episode, please go ahead and click some buttons, like, share, subscribe, and hit the bell. Thank you so much. I will see you next week. I hope, I think. <laughs>